Alright, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, HaKwadash. I'm the Akim HaAmayan. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine how I learned this truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers in a few aquaf, I would like to say shalom. Uh, <clears throat> Lord, wouldn't this be an edifying lesson on just remaining strong, man? Just staying strong through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemar Shah. Just continuing to fight and, you know, staying strong, man. Because we are almost out of here, but, you know, day for day, we fight, man, through the spirit, man. Okay, scripture say our wep the weapons of our warfare are not corner, but to put them down the strongholds, man. Um, we gotta stay strong, man, because it's a spiritual battle. Okay, and the sincere Akim, Lord willing, we be a part of the that number. We be the men. I myself and the, and and the, and the uh, rest of the Akim out here pushing the truth, man. But brothers ain't getting treated right, man. Okay, and we we. We understand that Sirach chapter 2, verse 1, tell you prepare thyself for temptation when you come serve the Lord, man. Okay, so you're going to go through uncomfortable things. And this lesson ain't to be all docile or nothing like that. Just to push the vibration of staying strong in the spirit of how about your mouth shot, man. Because it's going to be days where you ain't gonna, you're going to feel like S-H-I-T, Okay. Because we have nothing to be proud of other than the fact that we have this truth, this understanding of Yahweh Shemal Shai and the downfall of Esau's kingdom is finna um, be at its end, man. Okay? So, with that being said, this is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, and it reads, I can do all things through Christ. And we know that word goes into the anointed one, which is who? Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, man. Okay, who the word incorrectly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengtheneth me. And we understand that, man. We need the Lord to strengthen us, to strengthen us, because because that who that who do the strengthening, man. Okay. We don't, we don't, we don't um uh, we don't have no might, man. We, we only got Yahweh by Shemal Shah to lean on, man. Huh? You know, you got the wicked two-thirds out here that's caught up on, you know, everything but righteousness. And you got the Israelite woman. Uh, she's she's not really loving you for, for what you're, uh, for what you done became. Okay, these people don't love what you can do for them, man. They're still caught up on that old man. They miss that old man. But when you come into this, this truth and, and you and you try to be uh, renewed daily, man, you you realize that uh, Philippians four and thirteen. It, I can do all things through a martial art with strength in me, man. So guess what? Even if we have to be without y'all on on this side, man, guess what? The Lord wanted it like that. He gonna strengthen us to get through it. He gonna strengthen us to get through whatever, man. There's nothing he can't do. Uh, let me jump down the verse. I mean, jump down to uh, Romans chapter eight, verse eighteen. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that's absolutely right, man. The things we're about to go through can't even be the things we're going through and about to go through. Jacob's trouble can't even be compared to what the Lord's gonna give us, man. Which is the kingdom, man. Okay, about to inherit the kingdom with our Lord and Savior, man. Y'all was shy, man, because we're trying our best to stay diligent, making our you know giving diligence by making our calling and election sure. Because it's rough down here, man. But guess what? Um, it's bearable. We got to bear it. And Lord willing, we're bearing it, man. Like soldiers of Yahweh Shah, my shot, man. Uh, J 
Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know that the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And we expect salvation, man. Deliverance. Get up out of this hell hole, man. Sick of correcting Jake. We're not tired of doing this work. Hell no. So like you for my language. Just tired of seeing wickedness, man. I am. I'm sick of it, man. No matter if I try to be cordial with people or whatnot, man. I'm just sick of it. Sick of the mind frame of our people. Sick of the ways of how Esau Edom got this world, this world ran. Okay. People think they're doing something. Ain't doing nothing, man, but selling out. I'm cool on it, man. I just rather... I just rather uh, keep fighting this good fight, man. This is um. Let's get uh. So like yeah. Let me go into the blue letter. Let's get on. Um, oh no! Go to the apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus chapter eighteen and verse fourteen. So like you, it reads, "He have mercy on them that receive discipline, and that diligently seek after his judgments." See. And what Ecclesiastes 8 and 5 tell your wise man discern of both time and judgment, man. So we understand what time it is. We know what's going on, man. It just, you know, the messed up bodies we're in, man. Uh, this wicked flesh, the thoughts we have, we battle with it daily. And it takes a, a strong individual, man, spiritually. Really, you got to have the Lord, man, because it's not of us. But it takes somebody that the Lord is dealing with to get through this, man. Not know any Israelite can get through this, man. You got to be called and, and the Lord got to be dealing with you to get through this fight, man. Because Jacob fall off the cliff, man. Jacob jump off the bridge and be in the water and the drown, man. Okay, once again, Sirach 18 and verse 14, it reads, He have mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments, man. Okay. And all we got to do is continue to wait, man. Continue to wait, man. Think about the blessings that's, the, that's, that's about to come. Uh, Psalm chapter 46 and verse 10 And it reads Be still And know that I am Yahweh I will be exalted among the heathen I will be exalted In the earth And that's going to happen We got to believe that though man Be still man Let the Lord do his work He don't need no help Being Yahweh Okay we just got to choose him and understand that we need the Lord, man, because it's so bad out here, man. Jake, speaking to speaking for uh, Jake, man, the Israelite man and woman, they don't give a damn about us, man. Once again, they don't give a damn about us, man. But guess what, man? We can't be caught up on the wicked two thirds, man. We can't be caught up on the wicked two thirds, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be concerned on how the righteous gonna get saved, man. You got the young Jakes out here. They ain't, they ain't, they're not worried about trying to focus on the Lord. They're not worried about trying to uh, get redeemed, being saved, man. They ain't caught up on that. They chasing their next high, their next robbery. Okay, they are not, they're not caught up on repentance. They're not caught up on being forgiven, man. And guess what? 
I'm in, we, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a messed up body, man. Wicked flesh, myself. I still have to repent. I still have to be renewed daily. But I'm just saying, the mind frame of our people, man, they're not caught up on. They don't consider, man. They don't consider. So guess what? With that being said, they're gonna be destroyed for that, man. You disobeyed. You you didn't try to sacrifice nothing for you. How about some I was shot? Nothing. You gave up nothing for the Lord, man. This because this wasn't this wasn't fulfilling to you. This is this this that's why the scriptures say, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. To what end is it to you, man? For you. Okay. So Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. So like it for me bouncing around the place. This was on my spirit, man. Um we gotta stay strong, man. I myself, even the apostles and elders, man, they're they're fighting, man. So things like that should boost up our faith, man. Men with men in this truth with all types of uh, infirmities and afflictions, man. Things that they're going through that brothers don't even speak about. They that probably can't even speak about it. Not to shame them, but nothing like that, man. It's just the fact that brothers are trying, man. Men are trying. Okay. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson once again. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine how I learned the truth from according to the Bible. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And to the sincere believers in the few Akwaf, I would like to say Shalom. Babakasha, 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 Ababa, Kwam Yasha Allah, Barakal Akim, Shalom.